Hi everyone. This is Chicho. We should be live streaming. Let's check it out. There we are. There we are. Awesome. Welcome to another live stream, gang. Today is September 23rd, the second day of fall, 2020. And after a few years of promising people that we were going to get to it, we were going to get to it, I got to it. <laughs> Most of my gaming collection, random, all over the place, in boxes. Uh, there's probably a couple of more boxes, two or three more boxes somewhere, but uh, I pulled out as much as I could uh, for now. And we've set aside three days. We might get through it in two days. We don't know. I've set aside three days to do this live streaming. If we get it done in two days, um, the third day we're going to do a comic book haul video. Okay, I got a comic book haul that's sitting here <laughs> in reserve just in case we go through all this. Okay. And uh, this is basically since the 1980s, late 1970s possibly, but 1980s uh, all the way to present, the gaming collection that has found, uh, that has stayed with me. Okay. Aside from that, uh, welcome to another live stream. Emily, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. It's a nice rainy day here, actually. It's fantastic. Really nice. So I got the, I got the fire going. <laughs> Okay. Uh, aside from that, I'm going to do my little intro while we wait for people to roll in and notifications to go out. I'll call Barry. How are you doing? Hey, Chicho. Hey, chat. There's going to be uh, some people that have been waiting for the stream, by the way. Every few months, someone sends you a reminder. Hey, Chicho, do you remember you said you were going to show us your gaming collection? <laughs> and then I promised I would do it, I think, when I did my comic book collection the first video we put out which was like six years ago or so now right so it's taken about six years i'm doing a while emily says just getting ready for class and doing homework awesome awesome nice chill day for you maybe third stream in a row i've made right on holding who's how are you doing young Bolax, hello everyone knights of old comet herzog zuita herzog you remember <laughs> one of the greatest games ever one of the greatest games ever x how are you doing hope you're doing well gang if you want to follow this work i'm on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to support this work patreon is a fantastic way to do so i don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons share and share alike okay you can follow the work and at a certain point if you think this work is worth supporting with funds doing it through patreon is a fantastic way to do so crack good afternoon how are you doing <laughs> i don't know is it chicho bald bald surges out i see and then yeah these are uh, just uh three of the empty boxes uh I, the manuals might be in there i'm not 100 percent sure i just seriously i pulled out what i could um, I actually hurt my shoulder a little bit getting some of these, some other boxes. Some were under other boxes. So my right shoulder is a little achy. <laughs> but these are like the empty boxes of uh, N64, Sega, and Xbox. Okay. And we'll go through and see um, what we got. Okay. Nikki Hickey, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Nemo smokes. So hard to tell at the size whether that's Chicho or Serge. <laughs> I think it's genetically modified Chicho and Serge together. Right? We are live streaming on Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash Chicho Live. C H Y C H O L I V E. If you want to participate in the chat as is happening, Twitch is where you want to be at. And for those of you who are following, supporting through Twitch, um subscribing through twitch and for those of you who are supporting through patreon thank you very much for your support it is because of your support that we're able to <laughs> look at gaming collections <laughs> gina how are you doing 
hope life is treating you well. Hey, Chicho and Chat, Sunshine Days. Do you still pick up consoles? I haven't um, for a while. I haven't been into the gaming scene for, uh, I don't know. The last time I really dived into gaming, I bought the Xbox in mid 2000s, I guess. I guess it was mid 2000s. And the only reason I bought it is because Grand Theft Auto 3 and Vice City were coming with it. And I wanted to play Vice City. So I specifically bought the Xbox to play Vice City and I went ballistic on Vice City. And I finished Vice City without any cheats. Hmm? 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 <laughs> So there's no way to know for sure, Huckleberry says to Neo Smokes. How to garden a bald chicho search emotes. Uh, Skelleg, how are you doing? Doing well. Been waiting for this stream. Yeah, man. I, I promised to do this a long time ago. Good afternoon, Catholic traditionalist folks. In listen only mode for a bit. Okay, Catholic tradition. We'll try to describe what we're hidden. Cheryl, how are you doing? Hello, hello. Elder God is here. I'm super hyped for the stream. Not enough good video games, ASMR out there. No, I'll get into it at some point. Really, I've been meaning to make gaming ASMR uh, videos, live streams. It's just uh, there's a lot to do, right? We will get into it at some point because at some point I'm going to get back into gaming. I love going off on a game, right? Emily, I love your energy. Always good vibes. Try, we try, we try. <laughs> Oh, Vice City without cheat. Vice City Elder God without cheats. One of the levels, my God, it was the little uh, uh, RC car that you had to drive through obstacle course, and I spent so long on it, but had to be done. Ghost of a Shadow, Rat. Do you have a, a Dungeon Quest board game? Uh, I didn't bring the board games down. I've done a board game. Do I have Dungeon Quest? I got the Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest? <laughs> I forget what it is. Uh, I did a, a board game video stream showing you most of my board game collection. And uh, I, uh, I don't know if it was Dungeon Quest. Treasure Quest, maybe? Oh, I forget what the name is. I actually have a uh, uh, Dungeon and uh, D&D uh, Red Set here i just pulled it it just it was there so i just went okay oh, i gotta show you guys this i don't know if i showed it to you in the in the board game collection zeb zeb zebberdy 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 how are you doing doing well man i tried this i love gta 3 and probably 100 percent um 100 percent at 10 times huckleberry i've never played any gta game oh man but i think i might invest as uh, staying at home beca becomes the new norm alcoberry gta is a must if you're a gamer you you, you you have to play you would have had to play at least one of them right i knew you were gonna say the rc level <laughs> i hate that level <laughs> you know what i Nemo smoke. what a brutal level what the hell i have played it i cheated oh elder god elder god gina did you play gta san Angel? yeah i played Sa at a friend's place I used to chill out with them a lot and they were gamers and they had San Andreas. So San Andreas driving was the bomb, right? And just driving from city to city and San Andreas was fantastic, really. But uh, I had spent like three months playing Vice City uh, a couple of years back or a year back. So I wasn't going to go off on a San Andreas. <laughs> I wouldn't get anything done. Halo, yeah, finished Halo long time ago halo was easy to finish if you finish halo in like two days right it was like two, 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 two three days I, if, if i remember correctly the missions anyway the mission was just really just training for to be online right you should try to find mr cabbage head's garden it's a one to two player solitaire type game cool it would be hard doing some some of gta mission asmr a lot of the rage uh, driving would be awesome I used to chill out on the driving. Yes, got a full stream. Let's go, Void. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm going to call it now. Gina, quote, I'll have two number nines, a number nine large, a number six with extra tip, a number seven, two number 45, 45s, one with cheese and a large side soda. Melvin, big smoke, Harris. Funny, funny. 
uh, that's game on. Have you ever heard uh, uh, heard or played a game called Homeworld for the PC? I don't think so. Nicholas, how are you doing? Hey, Chicho, hey, Chad, long time no see, brother. Hey, Chicho, uh, was watching your read through of issue of the Book of Death. Nice, Fall of Harbinger, awesome. Did you ever get the alt uh, art covers for issue number one and three? I uh, the Bloodshot, the Bloodshot ones. Uh, tribute to Bloodshot, um, Rye number zero, the white with the red dot. Yes, I think I'm missing one of them but i did get the other the other ones just play destroy all humans too while i watch i'm playing mario third uh 3d all star while i watch i got about 50 stars right now it's cyberpunk hey chicho hope you're doing well doing well thank you very much n64 on my first console love golden eye yeah golden eye 007 I'm gonna finish my intro. I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live and LO Minds VK Gap Parlor and Twitter. Okay. You can follow the work there. All the links will be in the description of the video once it's been loaded to Pichute and YouTube because it will be loaded to both. When we do live streams, when there's no visuals the way we have right now, when we're recording a lapel mic external recorder, we do upload the audios to SoundCloud as podcast. This should be available on your favorite podcasting platform. And this video will be uploaded to YouTube and Bichut. <laughs> I don't have any <laughs> R-rated games here. Well, maybe GTA is R-rated, but whatever, right? Uh, so you can follow the work there. The video should be up in the next uh, few days anyway. And uh, if you want to support this work on those platforms, sharing, liking, uh, subscribing, turning on not notifications. You're guaranteed to get notifications through BitChute, not guaranteed to get notifications through YouTube. And if you're on YouTube, you can support this work by joining YouTube membership. And for those of you who join through YouTube membership, thank you for the support. And the button will be here somewhere if you're on YouTube. Aside from that, gang, welcome, welcome to a live stream that is long, long overdue. Okay long overdue eduardo how are you doing abdullah hey chicho are you a fan of the elder Scroll scrolls have you played the skyrim or on the pc i haven't played uh, i watched a little bit elder schools i i don't know much about it i just know people love it right quinn wolf were you ever into the civilization game i actually have a civ 2 here uh played a long time ago my my younger brother used to play a lot so i used to watch him and mess around a little bit but he was heavy into it he was heavy into it love the game beautiful game by the way catholic traditionist zx81 timex sinclair 1000 was my first computer wow timex sinclair 1000 i've never even heard of that catholic traditionist Nikki Hickey, maybe you played Halo on <laughs> on easy. I love the story, super solid. Yeah, uh, I I think it was it was on medium. Halo would have been on medium. I think I finished it in like really. I think it was like three days max, maybe. Maybe I'm mistaken. I'm not sure, but I think we finished it. I did finish it. My con video games, Nicholas Chicho. Yeah, because uh, those four covers would look great for him. Indeed, they would. And with blood, uh, Rye number zero starting it off, right? I think I'm missing one. I think I need to get one more, right? And I don't know which one it is. <laughs> uh, and at some point, I will have them framed. I love those covers, by the way. And we'll definitely, well, it doesn't have the same color scheme, so maybe not. A slice of computer history. Wow, I never heard about heard of that one. Abdullah Ochicho, I'm telling you, it is such an in immersed game uh timeless and you will become hooked i've played 500 hours into the pc version since 2012 i think nice have you heard of the batman arkham game yeah for sure in charter days looks cool sneaks around everywhere what should i grab for dinner toes mm. apples <laughs> apples and peanut butter apples and peanut butter these are apples i picked uh, from a local uh, like a neighbor they have an apple tree that's really good actually apples i cut them up so they're going a little bit brownish but they're good really good and i got some uh, liqueur going on this is the k 
kiwi and uh, mandarin liqueur. It's pretty nice. Gang, let's look at the boxes. Your choice. What should we look at first? <laughs> Let me move my seat. We're going to bring uh, this. Okay. And you guys decide. Like... Seriously, there's randomized stuff here. Um, I pulled some stuff that were just sitting outside. Uh, I, I, went, I had to go through a lot of boxes to get into this, right? Uh, green, <laughs> green box. <laughs> and Bardo says, okay, we hit the green first. I'm currently drinking apples. Apple cider, that's what you're drinking, pink box. We got, the, we got to go through pink to get to green. Should we go pink first? Nintendo N64, it's just console game. No, computer games as well. Uh, my con. Uh, computer games as well. Okay. Um, and uh, we'll get to it. I don't want to... Well... It, and handheld games. Like the single ones. So we got uh, green, pink, and brown. Eduardo said green. Uh, and then there's pink on top of it. So why don't we hit the pink one first? Whoop. Pink one first, and then we hit the green one, and then we're going to hit the brown one. Okay? Uh, so let's do it in that order. I say big track. <laughs> Did you see the big track <laughs> over there? The big track. And we've got the extension at the back of it too. And I, it's not a computer game, but you do program it. So I grabbed it just because, right? Let's do it. Let's do it. This is light. This is light. Randomized. And some of the stuff, we've got the manuals randomly placed and stuff. So I got some of my, you know, comic book bags and stuff that uh, I might start bagging some of the stuff. Okay. No orange box. Um, no orange box. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay. This. What I'm about to show you here is one of the reasons that I got onto eBay. eBay, I got on eBay in 2002, but one of the reasons I got onto eBay was because I wanted to buy a whole bunch of games in 2002. I just, there, there was a reason for it, but I wanted to buy um, N64 games and Sega Genesis games, okay? Uh, we used to have a lot of games and, you know, I don't think they're with us anymore. I, if they are, they're not in... in uh, there are some in my possession from that period. But we had more that didn't make it with me that might be in storage somewhere else with other family, right? And I'll, I'll find them if they are. But I wanted to buy a whole bunch of video games, right? So I got onto eBay and I bid on some stuff. But I found something that was listed that... I was like, I need to get that. The guy that was selling it was in Vancouver, okay? And I was in Vancouver. So I sent the guy a message saying, listen, if I buy it, can I just pick it up? He goes, yeah, for sure, if you win, blah, 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 blah. That way I don't have to pay for shipping. So I bid, right? I was the only one that bid. And then the listing got pulled. And I was like, what the hell? So the, the listing was going for two days right i was the highest bidder right I, may, maybe someone else bid there was a couple other people bidding but i was the highest bidder right and the listing got pulled i was like what the hell and then ebay sent me a message saying that this is not permitted to list there and the guy sent me a message saying listen i'm not a, i'm not allowed to sell this on ebay and i was like what the hell <laughs> and he goes do you still want to buy it for your maximum you bid you had at that time, whatever that was winning. I go, sure, it was $100, right? It was $100. This is what that is. I'm gonna show it to you. Let me show you all the games. It's a N64 copier emulator, right? Okay, let me show it to you. I believe it's a Japanese uh, product. I've never seen it listed on eBay again because it's not allowed. 
check this out. And the guy gave me instructions of how to set it up and stuff, right? Um, sorry if I'm missing any of the chat, gang. Uh, if there's anything directed towards me, just put Chicho on there and I'll look into it, right? And I'll try to see it. This is, check this out. What's this thing called? <laughs> it's this thing, okay. And what it does, the way it works is, you put a N64 on top, you put a cartridge on it, and then you can copy the cartridge, right, onto a CD. Now the guy had a whole bunch of games already copied on there, and I'll show you the list of the games. And I played, we played, I went through all of them, right? This is, what is this thing called? What's the name of this thing? Play pause. Does it have a name? Oh, there it is. It's a Dr. V64. Check this out. <laughs> Check this out. I'm going to show it to you. Dr. V64 Bung Enterprises Limited. <laughs> okay. Now, I don't have the N64 here, but there's an N64 in one of these boxes, at least one or two of them, right? And the guy gave me instructions, and he, you know, he had, basically, he put on tape here, this connects to that, and this connects to that, and that connects to that. And I set this up, and we played so many games, hours upon hours. And here's, a transformer because it's um it, it's it, 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 i think it's set up for japan all right so i think they use a different uh, outlet model so i have to go through <laughs> i have to go through one of these things right it's a TC100 AC converter, 220 volt to 110 volt. Okay. So we would set this up. So I would go through the instructions he gave me. And, you know, he writ down here, uh, V64 power supply, right? So V64 power supply, and the cables go here. This goes to, uh, to hose 110 volt AC and stuff like this. Okay. This is, this doesn't belong with this one. <laughs> I don't know what this is. This is a camera, right? But I don't know. No, this wasn't, or maybe it was. It's got a hookup. I don't know if you guys know what this is. Uh, a, B, it must be. It's uh, the different things. What is this guy? What does that say? AC adapter, Allura Tech. Right? I don't know what this is. So I don't know if it, this was with this guy. And check this out. Men's promotion copy. Let's get this out. So what I ended up doing, this is what it came with, by the way. It came with the N64 as well, with a couple of controllers. Um, and uh, was that a splitter? That's a splitter, I guess. Uh, and it came with um, the two controllers. And then uh, it had discs, right? So the guy gave me six discs with... <laughs> I'm going to show you the tape, um, the spreadsheet I created with all the games, right? So on each one of these, right? So you would put the disc in, Nintendo games for V64 only, right? Nintendo games for, this is number three, so I numbered them. That's my writing, but that's his stickers that he gave me. And it was just a kid, and they actually came by and they dropped it off for me. <laughs> this is, this is, what is this? P music this and this is disc number four I mean take a look at this thing he just copied it on whatever he could right and then on this one I put all the lists of the games right 
So this is uh, top number two. So there's six of these ones, right? Number seven. Yeah, oh, seven of these. So there's seven of these discs, okay? And then there's this guy where Super Mario Doctor Save Code, right? So it had a whole bunch of adapters that you would put into the thing, right? Stack it up, right? Check this out. No. <laughs> so check this out. I made a spreadsheet with all the different types of games, right? So I don't know how many games there are. And I had this up. So I had this hooked up for a number of years. And cousins would come over and we sit down and play. And we, you know, whatever we wanted to play, I had these set up. Like they're spreadsheets. Take a look spreadsheets that i made i have no idea what these are so there were some japanese games in there there's i broke down the games into uh strategy game flying game board game right so i did so if you want follow the comic book videos that i've done i'm into spreadsheets i like spreadsheets so in this one i would say you know n64 what the game is uh v64 what the name and name of it is on the cd and then which cd it's on cd3 or cd whatever it is um what does that say works if it works or if it doesn't work right yes or no most of them worked and then what's the other one size is how big the size was right and then type of game no idea because sometimes the instructions were just in japanese right so and then uh language it had usa europe J japan or whatever right and there were some games here that no idea what they are i've never seen them before and then on the last column i gave them a rating of uh this was a rating right you know, 8 out of 10, 4 out of 10, 7 out of 10, 5 out of 10. So we just go through all of them, right? And just to see what games there are. And I highlighted some of the ones that we played a lot. New test, Tetris, fantastic. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you these, okay? I <laughs> still don't respect that thing. So check this out. I'm going to show you this. So we have them captured, okay? So Tetris Sphere is pretty good. Driving, uh, don't hit the size. New Tetris, I played so much, so much, right? So here's one sheet. Okay, Monopoly, we played a lot. One of my cousins was really small, so she used to come over and play Monopoly a lot. Here's another one. No idea what these are. Banjo-Kazooie, GT64, Mask of Mujura, no <laughs> there's one like we don't know perfect dark fantastic right nintendo 64 <laughs> i'm not sure we, you've played duck hunt i think so i've played every single one of these I, at least i loaded them and played around with them a little bit check this out bio freaks clay fighter clay fighter 63 dark riff Evangeline in there. <laughs> like it was it was my own personal arcade with family just coming over and friends. We just get together and play. Right? Destruct Derby, this thing here is absolutely amazing. Destruct Derby is one of the best driving games ever. So much fun micro machines absolutely brilliant F one of the funnest games ever to play as a group okay i don't know how many there is <laughs> someone can count them later i guess rampage superman battle tanks so much fun so much fun right
just imagine just coming up to the game what do you guys want to play let's play all these banjo kazooie nice legend of zelda diddy kong cracked i can't even remember these castlevania Music Ninja. I have no idea what this is. I would load it on. I can't even read it. It's like Japanese. Didn't know how to do it. Shadow Man, right on. That's Valiant Comics, right? Turok, Valiant Comics, fantastic. Right. <laughs> Bass Hunter 64. <laughs> right. Mario Golf. Snowboarding, Twisted Edge. I highlighted that, but I can't remember it. FIFA Soccer, perfect. Right, cool, cool, cool. And here's the last one. Right. So I played a lot of N64, ton of it. Okay, let's see. And the highlighted ones are the ones we played a lot. Okay. Off-road, V-Rally, Revolt, fantastic, World Driver. Right. This was my first buy on eBay in 2002. First buy on eBay in 2002. One of these CDs doesn't work anymore. Okay. The last time I turned set this up was I lent this to family, the cousins that you saw us playing Monopoly with. I lent them, lent it to them about uh, six years ago or so, and I stayed with them for a couple of years. So I brought it back with me. I was going to set it up, but I haven't yet. Back to me because they weren't playing it anyway. Back here, about four years ago. Okay, so last time I checked. All the CDs were working except for one of them, which is four years ago. Ah, true, but I didn't buy it on eBay. So the person didn't have to pay any fees, right? And it ended up, uh, they charged me for delivering it to my house, right? They didn't let me come and pick it up. They said, no, oh, because I bought it for $100. Like all these games, this whole shebang came to me for $100. Okay. So this thing's a treasure. I'm not gonna, I've never seen this thing anywhere else. I don't know if you can buy it online. You must be able to buy it online, right? So I don't know what it goes for. I don't know how easy it is to buy online. Uh, so uh, this thing stays with me, <laughs> okay? Okay, so that's box, pink box. And what we're gonna do, I'm gonna try to sort this out if, if things are, if I can, they're too randomized. And I got a sort of a empty table here. So if there's anything that I wanna sort out, I'm just gonna put them on the empty table and sort them out uh, later, right? And this is gonna take us at least a couple of days to go through. Uh, Dub weaving, that is definitely a treasure. That's insane, yeah. Like just imagine having this thing set up. And I had it set up in my space for a number of years. Like I can't, I, 2002 to 2000, and, probably 10 for like eight eight years i probably had it set up at my house where cousins would come over and we we played destruct derby a lot uh destruct derby and micro uh, machine one so much fun right and so many games and then if i wasn't into playing they would just play themselves play different things so fantastic cab ops hey chicho uh hello chicho is do you have a super nintendo system indeed nes Okay, hold on, let me put this in here. Let's, uh, actually, let's put this guy here as well. So it's out of the way. Here, we'll put it here. So it's nicely out of the way. Green box? How hard is this? Oh, not bad. This is like randomized stuff. 
There's one listed on eBay right now for 400 Nice. With everything, with the uh, N64 and the CDs, games on there as well and stuff? Uh, Micon? Or is it just a white system? N64 is so fun because of all the multiplayer games. So many fun times playing with my bro and friends. But yeah, yeah, Padre. So fun. N64 was one of the greatest console games ever, right? Uh, which main in, in Apex Legends would Chicho be? <laughs> okay, this is just randomized stuff. So I'm going to... Oh, this is a trans CD. Um, and I'm going to show you... if the, These are all randomized. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put them on the table behind me. Okay. Uh, it's the system, but in original package, in original package, man, looks completely unused. Looks completely unused, man. It's a. Uh, it it we I bought it for a hundred. We got thousands of, like, it priceless. The joy we got out of it. Okay, Thor and Ochi Cho and friends. I'm excited for the stream. Uh, command compendium. I don't know what this is compendium it's a manual from origin right it's a gaming manual for sure table of contests uh, the chronicles of britannia the kingdom of britannia the citizenry check this out right. that's the table of contents I don't know if this is a console game or a computer game. I think it's a computer game. It must be. I don't think it's a board game. Okay. So any of these manuals that we come across, I'm going to put them aside and we'll put them on the table. Uh, that way, uh, rubble of salt. Rubble of salt. Some of these are squished. Look at these boxes, damn. What is this? Poor box. What's in this? Yeah. Just making sure there's no, there's no game in there. So the game is missing. Orcs and humans. The best entertainment software. So this is just stuff that came with it, right? Warranty restrictions. So let's put this back here. If we find the game, uh, we'll put it together. So that's one of the things I'd like to do is put the stuff back together again if possible. Abomination. I don't want to see these here. Check this out. Abomination. Action strategy mayhem. The cover, unfortunately. Fortnite. I don't want to have Fortnite. Think about Richicho. I bet in some of the manuals there are helpline numbers and other various PO boxes, probably. This is. Doop. 
so cool definitely miss physical copies of games yeah the physical copies uh, everybody's downloading right but I do like physical copies and here's a manual for it which is cool legacy of Kane soul reader reaver legacy of Kane soul reaver Come back here. Nemo, you know Soul Reaver. <laughs> Catholic tradition is switch to video for a bit. Could you hold up the commemorative manual? Yeah, for sure. Here. Check this out. And it's got, you know, some serious world building going on. Right. Cool. Soul Reaver. Let's put this guy here. And some of these games are mine that have made it with me. Some of them are, uh, well, a lot of them would have been my brothers, right? Chicho, that's an Egyptian Anka on the cover of the Quran. Egyptian, wow, Anka. That's one satanic game, wow. That is one of the Ultima manuals. That's one of the Ultima manuals. Ah, that's cool. Quick reference card. Ah, this is ah. okay. Put that away. This is just compact windows. Okay, let's put these guys here. I told you guys I got my SAP certificate for FI finance. Here's an SAP bag. SAP Canada Education Center. <laughs> I did the Montreal one. Crazy. Who remembers discs? Who remembers discs? I don't know what the... Wow, we're not going to go through the discs right now. Because some of these... Uh... Microsoft, this one set up MS DOS. <laughs> Check this out. Let's do that. Imagine display driver. Check this. Here. Old school. Old school. Check out this one. Microsoft Intel point for Microsoft Home Mouse. Disk one setup, MS DOS and Windows series version 1.0. Look at this. Are you Canadian? The Doctor 64 listed now is in Canada. Is it in Canada? Yeah, I am Canadian. Man, if I had extra 400 bucks, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Man, I gotta sort through this stuff. Oh, look at this. He man. Castle Grey Skull. One side of it. I got the other side as well. I think I showed you guys this at some point when I moved here. Chicho, do you know uh, Godzilla Save the Earth? Used to play that game, so I don't think so. Nice. Official strategy guide Dark Stone. Check this out. I have the power. <laughs> Official strategy guide. Okay, let's move this over here. Let's check this out. So, let's put this here. You know your DJs? Paul Oakenfeld. A good studio DJ, not very good live. Not very good laugh. 
Here's the World of Warcraft. Okay. So we could put this up and put our box in it. Well, I can sort this out. What else we got? Oh, we got some books. Books. Oh, more books. More books. More books. Don't sweat the small stuff. And it's all small stuff. But selling number one. The fib. You love my fireplace? Yeah, me too. This school is driving me crazy. This school is driving me crazy. Hopalitz. The classical Greek battle experience. Did you read your Lord of the Rings books? Yeah. Yeah, I read them. I took a job at a gas station to read the Lord of the Rings books on a graveyard shift. I'm just looking for games now, gang. Uh, just this random stuff. Oh, look. Blizzard. Blizzard Notepad. Blizzard Notepad. Nice. Blizzard Entertainment. Is Blizzard still around, by the way? Should be. I think so. Ah, right on. Cool. I was looking for this. I have this in another box. A mouse arena manual. Assemble instructions. Chicho, Blizzard is still huge. You should sell those notepads. <laughs> I have this. I'll show it to you guys. It's one of the boxes. Hmm. Cool. Blizzard is World of Warcraft. Yeah, of course. World of Warcraft is Blizzard. Yeah, what am I thinking? Blizzard. <laughs> Interactive Entertainment. Dark Preview. Dark Forces Strike Squad. Special Edition. The only name in monthly entertainment previews. Blizzard subsidiary Activision now, okay. Sega. 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 Awesome. <laughs> I gotta I gotta unfold this, roll it up, poor thing. Sega poster. Nice, look at this. It's one of the things that came with the games, right? We'll fold it up again. Macros 2. Just a box. Overwatch is Blizzard too. And StarCraft is Blizzard. Wow, wow, wow. So they're pretty big in esports. Cool. Here's a Blizzard. 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 What have we got? What have we got? Some more books. We'll skip the books. Superman, no, I'm still. Power Rangers. <laughs> Chicho, one of the highlights of my gaming career. I got into um, plat Platinum 1 versus 1 in StarCraft 2. Cool. 
So you're pretty top rated. Okay. We leave these guys alone. So anything that's not gaming. Oh, where are these? No, anything that's not gaming, I'm going to put back in the box. And anything gaming related, I'm gonna put on the table. I must have stored. I'm trying to downsize. It's just randomness. Uh, okay, castle blue skull. Back. Back you go. I'll go through this crap later. Uh, the gaming stuff is out. Okay, we we'll take this down. So, these go on the table. Anything gaming related, we'll just put it here. We're going from brown? Brown is it, right? Brown is it. Salute, gang. Just a Microsoft manual. Consoles, you see? Okay. Xbox. Right. Okay, I gotta put this aside too, so it goes with the Xbox. It's just an antenna. N64. No, no, not N64. Xbox. Oh, these are all Xboxes. Nice. Four controllers. Four Xbox controllers. Nice. Is it? Yeah, I know. Antenna for wireless gaming. I think antenna for radio. <laughs> right, so, two. Nice. This has got to be, I think this is for the Xbox, must be. This cable? I think it's for the Xbox. Maybe. There's another. Xbox controller. I haven't, uh, I've been out of the gaming scene for a little bit of time. This is for Xbox too, I believe, right? Grew out of them and put them in boxes. I wish, well, no, I don't wish I grew out of the gaming. I still got the gaming. Gaming, uh, urge to play but right now i don't have the time this is for um, pa, 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 pa. nintendo this is for the nes i believe right check that out nes Ooh, take it easy sega i got a few of these i grabbed a whole bunch of these Sega and NES and N64 is in 2002. I was trying to put sets together because I gave some sets away to family. So N64. Super Nintendo, right? And I put a little note here. Can't get it to start the game. Okay. Right. 
Here's another NES or Super Nintendo. Right. Here's another version of the Sega. Now, I don't know which one of these came out first. I think this is the one that came out first, or it might have been this one, right? Radio Village, five dollars. Six dollars? Six dollars, right? And then here's another one I got here. Right? But you should, the question is, do your N64s have the upgraded graphics packs? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, let me make sure this doesn't fall over. Here, I'm gonna put the these guys here because I'm gonna actually I should just put the these guys back. So it balances it. And I got some more cables here. This guy's for uh, poke. So some more cables here. I gotta figure out which one's for what. N64. Nice. And this is for the NES, I believe. Should be. Is it? Is this the for the NES or the N64? What's cracking, Chicho? Curb Tim. Nice looking collection, man. Thanks. Whoa, geez, sorry about the sound guy. Flew over. I knew it was gonna go. Ouch. I hope that didn't hurt you guys. That's for the N60. This is for the N64? Okay, I'm gonna put it with the N64. I'll put it with the N64. Thanks for all the follows. Yeah, thank you, gang. If I'm not catching in, my apologies. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs. Okay. Uh, because I'm, as you can tell, if I get distracted, things fall over. N64 was my childhood. I still got two functional ones as well. Nice. Nice. I can play 3D games better with it and sometimes can't without it. Okay. And what's the uh, N64, the memory thing, the expanded memory thing? So N64 power pack, awesome. Actually, you know what I should do? I should put all the N64s in one thing. Uh, and the Xbox controllers I should put out as well. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put, I'm gonna try to consolidate things and put them all together. Uh, so I'm gonna take the controllers, the Xbox controllers and put them out. And maybe uh, I can sort it out. Put everything related to each console in its appropriate box. And I think this is uh, for the Xbox, is it? This guy? Oh, it added four um, megs of RAM to it. Expansion pack was used as quick fix to fix bug in Donkey Kong 64, really, which had issues of crashing. However, expansion pack was marketed as upgraded needed because of uh, because otherwise N64 could not handle the awesome game that was Donkey Kong 64. Cool, cool, cool. Well, I don't know what cable that is, so I'm gonna leave it alone. This is definitely uh, N64, I believe. So let's just put the cables down here. Put this guy here and put the NES's back. Let's put this guy here. Okay. Let's put this guy away. This guy over here. Okay. 
What else should we look at, gang? Which other box? Hour and 20 minutes, we've already been live. We've only gone through three boxes. Get dang it. <laughs> Halfway. <laughs> oh no. Salute. The title should be Old Gamer Open Some Loot Box. <laughs> Chicho basically digging up a time castle at this point. What should we look at? What else should we pull out? I'm <laughs> old too. Could we get a glimpse of the N64 box? Yeah, for sure. I haven't seen one close up after 1990. Yeah, for sure. Let's take a look. I'll bring actually all three boxes here. Out. It's in really good shape, the box actually. This one, there's the back of it. Have the exact box. <laughs> Is this side? How much was N64 when it came out? I can't even remember, gang. Like, like, I don't know. Less than 200. I'm pretty sure. Should I crack it open? I don't know if the manual's in here. Chicho, I own the box to Pokemon. Stadium 2, haha. <laughs> just a box and it is now worth $100 with the right buyer. Just a box, just a box. Wow. We'll put that Oh, it's got the top of the thing in there. That you put it in, you close it up. Okay, good to know. You know what I should do? Oh, oh this is this this box came with the Doctor V. Nice, Doctor V sixty four. So this is this goes on the top of the Doctor V sixty four. I'm gonna put this in uh, with the Doctor V sixty four. I'll leave this guy here. So no manual, but not bad. US 199 at launch. Cool. Let's put that back. No. Let's put this guy back too. this and I'm gonna put this with the with the pink box with the Dr. V 64 here we'll put this guy here too here's a Sega Genesis box totally beat up Sega Came with Altered Beast. Look at that. So in Finland, N64 costed almost double the PlayStation 1. However, was more solid here because it was uh, fitting for families. Good launch title. Cool. Sega. Sega. Damn, with gaming going digital, this collection is one of the last of its kind. I don't know if it's one of the last of its kind, but... Ah, cool. Instruction manual. Instruction manual for Sega Genesis. Sweet!
instruction manual for Sega Genesis. Woohoo! Copyright 1989. Nah, it's not focusing, it's too glary. Cool. Nice. Just buy it for a collection. I bought, uh, there's a lot of games here that uh, uh, we owned original, right? There's a lot of games here that we owned original, uh, especially the computer games and stuff. Uh, but there is the, like the NES system, the Sega system over there. Uh, I don't know if this was the original that came that we got. Um, but the NES system with the Value Village stuff, those ones I bought in 2002. So 20 years ago or so, I bought those ones. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the Sega manual in a magazine bag and board. Okay. Just because it's awesome. All right. You get online classes for COVID? Oh, you mean because of COVID? You guys aren't learning about COVID, are you? Have I missed any cool stuff? Hi, <laughs> Chicho. I see a Genesis. Oh, Spider Man, dude. Uh, v, uh, you missed uh, the first thing we opened up was uh, uh, a console that copies uh, N64 games that my, it was my first purchase on eBay. And it came with a whole bunch of games, a whole bunch of games. Let's put that back in there. We'll put that in there too. And then the Xbox should be in here. Yeah, the Xbox is in here, so fantastic. All right. So the Xbox, right? Fantastic. I wonder where my Vice City is. I'm just gonna put that back. So we got uh, four consoles so far, right? Did you been a pirate? <laughs> pirate since before the internet. Uh, yeah, really. In, in Iran when I was a kid, the cassette tapes we used to buy, they were all pirated tapes, right? My con Chicho, there's a product. Oh, what is it? There's a product called Retro Bright that removes yellowing from old consoles and makes them look brand new. Oh, wow, cool. Cool. No worry. I worded that wrong, Spider-Man says, because I'm so excited. We started our online classes for adoption because of COVID. We have to do everything on. Oh, wow. Oh, you're adopting. Very cool, Spider-Man. Yeah, actual pirates from the 70s don't count. <laughs> oh man, an Xbox in bugs. A lot of these are worth a good chunk of change. I love it. Is it? Are they? I don't know. I don't plan on selling it, so. But good to know. Okay, gang, what else should we look at? Foster for adoption, very cool. Your kid's gonna be, they're gonna be so happy. Spider-Man <laughs> collection, comic books, gaming, rock and roll. Chicho, sell your video game collection and buy the United States. <laughs> become the no. My vote is on white plastic on floor, white plastic on floor. 
Oh, that one. Okay, let's do it. Let's take a look at that one. Yeah. Let's see how heavy it is. Gains. Oh, it's got some books there too. Okay, that's a heavy one. <laughs> oh yeah, nice. Check it out. What's this? There's random stuff here too, so I'm not gonna. We're just we're just gonna look at the gaming stuff, okay, gang? Just got back from the beginning. Plot twist: It's no porno collection. <laughs> I'm going to have to watch the VOD. I'm sure I missed out on some cool. Uh, it, it, it's collection. It's my stuff. The first thing we looked at was super cool, by the way. Super cool. My vote is on the fireplace. It's take on the logs. Some of them are probably pretty old. It's a gas fireplace, right? Check this out. Smart of a mouse, the speed of a joystick. Super quick. Super quick. Is that my... Is this... Which joystick is this? Oh, sweet. No, I have this joystick. Check this out. This is the thing for the manual for a joystick. Right. This joystick. I don't know if we have this anymore. Use this a lot. Okay. Moving this so much. Check this out. I have Mac 2 in one of these boxes. Okay, one of these boxes. <laughs> Check this out. This is for CDs, right? You could put it on there. Did you ever have a Commodore? I played on a Commodore 64, but it was only at friend's place. Oh, this is even sealed. Check that out. Check this out. It was here. I just pulled it out. Sealed Macintosh tape. Sealed. And it's the, a guide, guided tour uh, of Macintosh and Mac Write, Mac Paint. Right, and some of the early games we played was on the Mac too. Okay. So I'm gonna put this back. Definitely uh, keeping this. There's no doubt, right? Back of it. So let's put this. It's got a crack there, unfortunately. It's right here. What am I saying? The Macintosh is in here. <laughs> nice. Check this out. Okay, hold on. Let me show you some of the games. Watch this. Sega. Sega. Did you ever play the Dark Castle? Yes. Dark Castle was so good. For the yeah, Dark Castle was amazing. I might have it here. Here, there, somewhere. Okay. Castle of Illusion, Mickey Mouse. Bloop. Right? Nice. Sega. What else we got? <laughs> Command and Conquer, Red Alert 2. We can have Dark Castle stream next. <laughs> At least some some let's plays. That's such a cool game. Such a cool game. Such a cool game. Okay, that's just the tape. Let's move this over. <laughs> what did you say? Dark Castle? Dark Castle box. Awesome. Awesome. Dark Castle box. We played this so much, so much, 
right? And there's a pirate one we played on the Mac. I don't know if we have the pirate one. Right? Dark Castle. This was, check this out, the price on it back then, and this came out in 80, early 80s, uh, mid 80s, copyright 1986, right? Oops, let's see if I'll focus. Doop, 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 doop. There it is. So Silicon Beach Software Incorporated, copyright 1986, and this thing in 1986 was selling for $60 Canadian. Okay. Sixty dollars Canadian. Wow, eh? Woof, woof, woof. What else we got? We got lots of cassettes here, or what do you call it? Some of these might be games. So, Keyboard for the you can check this out. Keyboard for the mouse, for the keyboard and the mouse for the Macintosh, right? <laughs> Look at this thing, <laughs> right? And here's a mouse. My God! Look at that! Click, 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 click. Yeah, Ancient War or something, the pirate one. Ancient something, right? Knights of Old Comic? Right? You can type on the Mac keyboard a little bit. You want to type on the Mac keyboard? Let's see. Let's see what it is. Let's check it out. Look at this connection. Look at this thing. Cool. Look at that. Crazy. Let's hear it. <laughs> Just imagine playing video games on this or with this, right? Super fun. Super fun. Let's put this back in here. Why not? What else we got? <laughs> Sid Ming, the pirates. to play a game here's the back of it how much was this at the time All right. apple Mac macintosh uh, 512ke plus se2 80k disk drive what it is what it is Nice. Got the manual. Any discs? No discs. So here's a manual. Right. Super cool. Nice manual. Such a chill streamer, <laughs> yeah. You gotta chill with it, right? Chicho, there was a game, Ancient Art of War. That's the one. 
man, I hope I have Ancient Art of War. Ancient Art of War Knights of Old comic was brilliant. So good. Where you set up your stuff and you press the button and the armies came from either side and they started killing each other. And the graphics was just crazy. Like, and the sound and sometimes one of their armies, one of their soldiers would kill like 15 of your men you're like hey the game is rigged what are these guys what is this? oh it's got the map nice take a look ding bobber she showed the best game for me of all time for playing with friends was halo halo 3 eh? nice the Spanish main. Check that out. The campaign and custom games. My God, so many sleepovers. Ancient Art of War was one of the first real-time strategy games. Very influential. Was it? Yeah, it was a great game. So good, so good. Table of random numbers from one to six, simulating 2,000 throws of regular dice. Check this out. <laughs> 2,000 random digits from zero to nine. Look at this. Look at this. A random number generator. Simulator, I guess. Cool. Have I mentioned that everything's mathematics? <laughs> uh, so I miss games with manuals and inserts. Yeah, Knights of Old Comet. And there was a Ancient Art of War at Sea. Yeah, I think so, man. I hope, I hope I have those. We, we used to have a huge collection of the Mac games. Balance of power, geopolitics in the nuclear age. Chris Crawford. Check that out. RNG for short. Just came out yesterday for PC. Cool. I remember playing this. Yeah, I remember playing this, but I can't remember it. Check out, take a look. Ancient Art of War game out 1984 by Contrast Warcraft. Another real-time strategy game came out 10 years later. Man, I remember playing this game, but I don't remember at all. And the company is uh, Mindscape. That's their logo. I don't know if these guys are around. Cool. What else we got? Oh, there's the balance of power one. Cool. Here's the balance of power. The hardcover for it, right? Is that even fair? I guess they should go together. So there must be another box there somewhere. Right? Cool. Here's the screenshots of it. I remember these, but I can't remember how to play it at all. Right. Geopolitics and nuclear age. Macintosh, 128K, single drive. Yeah. Oh, you're talking Ding Bob or Knights of Old Comic. I worked uh, some mass for Halo 3. Cool. Let's put this guy here. Okay, this is music 
Oh, here's another Sega one, same poster. Actually, it looks like a little different poster. I think it's a different poster than the previous one. And the game's in the back again. What is this? Oh, it's just a magazine. Uh, CompuServe publication printed monthly online daily. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> play football. Check out this one, Dark Castle to Hard Disk. Copying Dark Castle to Hard Disk. I'm gonna put that with Dark Castle. So, how to go about doing it, right? Very cool. Tips and techniques, and on the back, getting started and whatnot. Cool, I'm gonna put that one in the Will it fit in the box? Yeah, it fits in the box. So let's just put it in the box. Into the Dark Castle box. Does it fit? It should. Hey. There it is. What are these guys? Getting started, silicon. Yeah, so this is Dark Castle as well. Okay. And these must be Dark Castle as well. They were all together. Yeah, they must be Dark Castle. So, you know what? I'll put it together later. What's this? No, this is nothing, 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 nothing. Is this cartridge? No, that's different. I thought it would, maybe it was the. Uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is something else. This is insane. But we'll put it here. What's this? <laughs> Sky Fox. Check this out. Sky Fox. Awesome. Look at that. Zero to Mach 4 in four seconds. Played this a lot. Super cool. Electronic arts ea right ea nes games yeah we haven't hit them yet yeah but definitely have nes games Baldur gates 2 game manual look at that look at that Very cool, very cool. That's a thick manual. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Look at that. Right, awesome. <laughs> Smart, oh shit. 
They're making Baldur's Gate 3 now, are they? <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> what is this? Oops. Game and match. Donkey Kong 2. <laughs> this is the instruction manual for Donkey Kong 2. <laughs> Check this out. Oh, this is for the handheld game. I'm gonna show you, I have it somewhere. It's the handheld game, Donkey Kong. Awesome, found a manual for it. Look at that, hopefully it focuses. Look at that. Handheld Donkey Kong game from like early 1980s. Uh, they knew it would be Xbox. The last console game I bought was Xbox. Nice. Spot of T, how are you doing? What's this one? Manhunter. What is this? Sierra. Online Inc. Manhunter. Some things are highlighted, so I don't know. This doesn't ring a bell. Those games and the watches are brilliant. I have a few, yeah. There was uh, <laughs> there was one where you had you had a digital thing you could do as well. It was crazy. What's this guy? Ford Simulator 2. Check that out. Ford Simulator 2. Wow. Pieces. Collect all 64 to complete puzzle. Diamond King puzzle. What is that? Yogi Bear something. Something. Let's put these guys here. <laughs> Car words. <laughs> awesome. Car words. <laughs> I remember this. This wasn't a video game. I think this is just a like a game thing, isn't it? Steve Jackson games. I have no idea. I remember this. I, I can't remember. I can't remember it. I remember this box, but I don't know what was, what was my thing with it. My dad once sold a green game and watch, watch for six hundred dollars after paying a mere five dollars years ago. Cool. Images of the Man Hunter game looks so edgy, does it? Cool, cool, cool. What's this? Desktop image. Halo, professional imaging tool for Windows. <laughs> Check this out. I wonder if they stole the name Halo from their own thing, from Microsoft. Right? Diamond Computer Systems. Cool. What's this? Oh, here's another Sega one. Sega Altered Beast. Nice. So this is the game that came with the Sega Genesis. The box that we have, right? Because on the pack on the box it said it came with say it came with Altered Beast. Right? Check this out. So in this, it said it came with Altered Beast. Right? So I'm gonna put it in here. I'm just gonna slip it in. In a good way. Not a bad way. Good. Yay, yeah, we put one thing together. <laughs> Let's see what else we got.
general playing instructions. Julius Irving and Larry Bird. Go one on one. Oh, this is Go. Instructions for playing Go. That's cool. Instructions for playing Go. <laughs> Anybody remember these? <laughs> Many people went and bolt. Ooh, ooh, 3D, whoa, Super Bowl trivia, whoa, whoa. My beautiful beard, fresh as <laughs> Zerash. What team was the first wild card team to win the Super Bowl? Okay. A, Dolphins, B, Cowboys, C, Raiders, D, Jets. Answer, if you can read upside down, is the Raiders. <laughs> Shot dust says Raiders. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> rebel Assault. We had a Rebel Assault thing. Ah, wait a second. In the back of it is Might and Magic. Rebel Assault. But the back is might and magic so they're on the different boxes so this is the top of rebel assault right cool lucas dark legions manual cool let's take a look at this dark legion game menu remember playing this maybe check that out cool what's this oh here's a warcraft nice here's a world of warcraft 2 manual awesome awesome we found a box and the package for it, right? I hope I have a disc somewhere. Or CD. Nice. Blizzard. Ravenloft. Just a little promo of something they sent out. Empty thing. Read me first. And company's warranty. It's okay, we don't need that. Oh, this is a cover for a book. We could put that there. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is the whole box. Check this out. So, this is the Might and Magic Book One. Cool, here's the back. Possible for sure, Spot of T. At some point, I'm going to do gameplay. 100%. I just need to get set up. Cool. I'm not sure when, though. It'll take me a while. Oh, look at this. The Elder Scrolls Arena. Look at this. So these are all randomizers. Ding Bob or Chicho, you meet the coolest people in the Chicho's Twitch chat. I've met a man who wants to disassemble uh, centralized education, and now today a man who used to work for one of my favorite video game companies. Awesome. This is instruction manual. What's this for? It doesn't even have the name on it. 
By the way, gang, thank you for the follows and the subs. So this is a stronghold developed by Stormfront Studios. So it's just like stapled together. Yeah. And here's the crass parts. Stormfront Studios. Cool. Elder Scrolls. Cool. Take a look at this. Dark Legions. These are cards, playing cards. Let me put this here. Let me show you these ones. Dark Legions. Right? And in the back it's got these guys, right? Troll. Templar. Seer. Illusionist. Thief. You always have to have a thief in your party. And a wizard. A vampire. Fire elements. Oh, what's this guy? Orc. Upside oh, down again. Conjurer. Wraith. What's this guy? Phantom. Water elements. And shapeshifter. Cool. What else we got in here? What? Nope. Sky Fox, nice. Sky Fox. Electronic Arts, 1985. Risk 2. Hey, Chicho. Did you already said which game you're going to play? Um, I don't know yet. I don't know. It'd be one of the older ones. Hardball. Check this out. Hardball for Apple Macintosh. Cool. Economics CD or not CD <laughs> Arcanade. What's this one? This is the economics one too. Might and Magic. Check this out. It's got a whole bunch of. Right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'll have to put this together. And then Might and Magic. Import warranty card. Important warranty card. Okay, so Might and Magic, Might and Magic. These CDs I'm gonna put out. Sky Fox. I don't know where what these guys are from. Dark Legions. Right? The cars. We'll leave those out. I don't know if that's part of that Elder Scrolls thing. We'll leave that out because that doesn't go with that. And we'll close this guy up. And I think that belongs with that. Might and Magic. Let's put this guys down. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Lucas Van. have some other binoculars i think the rebel the caregiver the creator and the explorer archetype are you the orphan the jester i don't know vivitar vivitar This is the CD thing for Macintosh. Okay. Model M0130, Apple computers. Check this out. Division catalog. Microsoft limited warranty. Ready? Ready? Cable for the Macintosh. Here's the Mac 2. Let me rotate this so you see the screen on it. Oops. Let me put these guys back. Look at all the cable connections. <laughs> awesome. And it's fantastic. It's got a, the design for it was great. It's got a, like a holder here, like you can hold it up, right? Which is great. Played a lot of games on this and did a lot of work on this. There's a disc inside? Oh, there is a disc inside. Oh, you have to turn it. Turn it on for it to pop out. You have to turn it on for it to pop out, I think. You have to eject it with the screen. I can't pop it out. I don't want to pull it out. It might damage it. I wonder what's in there. Oh man, now you got me wondering what's in there. Oh, what's in there? Don't know. But there is a disc inside. Take a look. How do we get that out? How do we get that out? We don't. And check out the connection for the keyboard. All right. Cool. Cool. Okay. Let's. 
put the Apple stuff back in here. And then we'll deal with the other stuff. I'm going to put the other stuff on the table. Okay. Because... That way... The binoculars we can put out. Let's put this. Here, we'll close. Oh, yeah, hold on. This is a big touch, too. This is the Mac too, so we're gonna put that back in there. Ancient artifacts from, yeah, for sure. That's the reason, one of the reasons we kept them, right? Okay, we don't want this thing damaged, so let's put it like this, let's see. Yeah, that's good. Anything else that belongs in here? Well, Dark, Dark Castle was also Macintosh, so was this. So might as well put the games in here too, right? Actually, no, I'll keep these out. We'll keep these guys out. Here. Because we need to put them together, right? So. Oh yeah, I've got to put the keyboard back in there, right? The keyboard and the mouse back in the box. Should we do more typing? Cool. We're missing the number three. Let's put this back. Yes, that's good. Okay, and there's room there putting things together, I can put it in there. So this will be the Mac box. Let's put this guy here. Okay, guys, how are we doing for time? What's our time frame? We're almost two hours. So we cleared off some stuff, which is good, right? There's a whole bunch of stuff we still need to go through. So we hit it up tomorrow. Does that sound good? Let me move this over. Let me bring this over. Barely had any drink or any snack. Salute, gang. Thanks for going through this uh, stuff with me. <laughs> Check this out. If you ever, if you are ever in Silicon Valley, check out the Computer History Museum and Mountain View. Okay, very interesting, very cool. Don't stop more. <laughs> we got to do it tomorrow. I got students in half an hour. I got a tutor. I got to do some mathematics. I got to go get set up over there. <laughs> mechanical, mechanical keyboard. Amazing clicking sound on that. Hey, mods. Are links to Chicho's clips allowed in chat? For sure. I think so. I think so. Why not? I don't know if it'll approve it or not. Transparent. Looks like games. Give us a sneak peek through the plastic. Yeah, that one. That one's Arena. That's the Elder Scrolls Arena. That one right there. <laughs> we look at it tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, I think we're starting at 9.30 a.m. So we we'll, we we'll take a look at it tomorrow. Graham, how you doing? Graham, yeah, I think you'll like you'll like the first thing we pulled out was fantastic, man. The first thing we pulled out is fantastic. Chicho, forget the students stream twenty four seven. 
first Elder Scrolls? I believe so. Uh, let me grab it. Spot of tea. Uh, let me grab it. I'll try my best to be here. Uh, since you don't know, let me grab the Elder Scrolls. We'll see which, which one it is. is good this box is good I don't know if this is the first one this is Elder Scrolls Arena let me put on my glasses definitely first is it is it the first yep arena dagger fo uh, fall more wood from the Skyrim. Definitely the first. That really is a, a relic, man. Is it nice? Arena might be worth something. Arena is the first one, is it? Very nice, very nice. IBM. Wow, wow, wow. Take a look at that. That's worth over one hundred dollars on eBay. I don't know if the discs are here. Let's check it out. It's in pretty good shape. Nice. <laughs> what is different? Let's check this out. This is Lord of the Rings manual. <laughs> I told you everything is in chaos mode, right? So it might just be the box. What year is it? What year is it? Where do I put it? The year on this. Da -da 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 1993. I don't know if you'll see it. It's really small. Let's see. Well, it's focus. Uh, it's not. Oh, there it is. 1993. Minus 100 value. <laughs> so Lord of Rings game. It's a gatefold cover. This Lord of Rings game, I don't know when this one came out. Check this out. The Lord of the Rings game, what's the copyright on this one? Oop. This doesn't say. No, oh, maybe it's in the back. No. What are these guys? Oh, check this out. art paper but if we have this here the elder scrolls the the instructions were in the piles over here i think so it does we do have it there oh there are some discs here more fun and games it's just paper what is this backup disc <laughs> don't you love discs with no labels hilarious hilarious empty so we don't know what's we don't know where all the stuff is i'm gonna put this out and the discs will keep here because it might be part of it who knows and let's close it up cool. <laughs> 
good thing you got the back out. <laughs> <From some. laughs> it's got to be there. It's got to be there somewhere. It's it's either here in one of these boxes, or in a couple of two or three other boxes somewhere that we have, right? Gang, let's call the stream. I'll be here tomorrow morning at I believe 9:30 a.m. my time PDT. Okay, we got the box anyway. <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> clap, clap, clap. <laughs> if I sound this orgasmic, fun gang. Gang, if you want to follow this work, if you want to support this work, if you want to know what all this is about, I'm on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Chicho. C H Y C H O. I don't put anything behind paywalls. Everything's Creative Commons. Share and share alike. For those of you that were supporting this work through Patreon, thank you for your support it is because of your support we're able to do this appreciate it very much and you can follow the work i don't put anything behind paywalls like i said so you will get notifications as to what it is that we are sharing we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e mods thank you for taking care of business on twitch those of you who are following who are subbing very much thank you for the support uh, and the discussion the chat and the information uh, and the community we've created here it's fantastic love it love it love it i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on lo minds vk gap parlor and twitter for now okay so you can follow the work there the links will be in the description of this video for live streams where we have open discussions no visuals we will be uploading the audio to soundcloud as podcast and it should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify time to fire up galaga and relive some past glory. galaga was an amazing game you got the arcade game where you're going to play a simulator galaga was fantastic and we will be uploading this video this live stream to bit and youtube and you can support this work by subscribing, turning on notifications, uh, by sharing, by liking. And if you're on YouTube, you can join YouTube membership where the link is somewhere in here. Okay. Gang, thanks for being here. Uh, appreciate the discussion. I'm glad you guys were excited about this. Uh, so was I. I promised to do this a long time ago, like a few years ago. So we're finally getting to it. And I know some people that are going to be watching this after the fact on YouTube. Uh, and bitchut they will be very happy to have part one of this up we got i got i reserved enough time for us to have a three-parter i don't know if we'll get through all of that uh, we probably will we might get through all of that tomorrow if we do on saturday which is the third session we reserve for the video games we'll do a comic book haul video i might do a comic book haul unannounced video spot of team man i need to play some games pre-2000 i think the oldest game i ever pl uh, properly played is half-life wow 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 thanks for the stream my pleasure my con catholic train is spotted to you. you might be surprised at how much fun you can have playing those vintage games yeah the vintage games are absolutely brilliant brilliant and it's amazing how much game they put into such small memory like unbelievable we're talking graphics colors music levels some games you could you it would take you forever to finish <laughs> like, like amazing games amazing games shinobi still is love to me awesome elder god gang if you can make it i'll see you guys tomorrow and we've got streams coming up for the next four days i believe uh, games tomorrow uh, happy live stream on friday where we're going to talk about some of the positive things that are happening in the world games again on saturday and we're going to do a comic book reading on sunday okay elder, elder scrolls 2 still one of the biggest uh biggest games ever you should read out read about how they made the second pokemon game and squeeze the entire first game on the same cartridge very nice happy live stream that's a fantastic idea yeah and coolio 
mentioned that he wasn't here but uh, he recommended it or he suggested it or we sort of mentioned that and we thought it would be a good idea to do one okay bye everyone i hope you have a fantastic day and i'll see you guys in the next four days